And welcome everyone to day two, Sunday, Family Day, at Midwest Gaming Classic 2021. Temperatures are supposed to approach 60 today. There is no snow in the forecast. Now I think I've given a pretty good overview of the show so far. Today's goal is pretty simple. See how many games we can play before the whole thing shuts down at 5 p.m. I tried to keep it pretty random yesterday. I think I did a good job. Could have done better. But we definitely have to play some games today. So expect a lot of randomness. At some point today, they are doing a big auction where a lot of these games will go to the highest bidder. to see more and more of these now where the play field is a digital screen. Not really a fan. Much prefer what Stern is doing with their new pinballs. Oh, I love this. A Neo Geo with a Turtles game. 
I believe the Turtles games were JAMA compatible, so that's probably how they got this in here. That is awesome. Very cool. Cool, looks like I can actually play it too. goes because I started it. <laughs> I still want one of these. And we got turtles all over. We also have the turtles game here. I believe I saw this at Stardust Bowl. Definitely a little different than the game that I just played. We usually see this every year at the show too. It's this AMC racing game, I believe, that's in a rear view mirror. The actual screen in the mirror on a Commodore Big 20. Old system. Check out this guy too. I will give you the answer. The correct answer is A. Milk Chamberlain is the correct answer. For question 12, I will give you a choice about basketball. If you would like an easy question, push A. A medium question, push B. Or a difficult, very difficult question about basketball, push C. Please, this is not allowed. Or C, because of any other side. Please choose your answer now. Hey, Mr. Chamberlain, what are you doing? Hey, Mr. Chamberlain, what are you doing? Hey, Mr. Chamberlain, Yes, I have played a ColecoVision. My parents own one. And I remember this really weird looking controller. Wow. Been a long time now. Oh, here's something I played a lot as a kid. Even better. Oh yeah, I still got it. Ooh. 
Oh, wow. Didn't think I'd get that one. Got a turkey, though. Ooh, that's not good. All right, let's see if we can get this. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Should be a fairly easy pickup. Oh yeah. All right, 10th frame, 176. We can hit 200 still. Ah. All right, well, we're not hitting 200. But we should have a pretty easy pickup here. All right, well, we still got a 214, so there you go. Not bad. And today we have chicken tenders with fries. Both of my meals were from the Festive Ale Burger and Beer House. And we got some honey mustard too. Honey mustard definitely has a bit of a tang to it. Otherwise, pretty good. Atari 5200 controller. This brings back some memories. Three buttons up top and then this numpad down here. Very unique. Maybe not as crazy as the uh, ColecoVision one, but my family had one of these systems as well. Played a couple rounds of Pitfall. Yeah, very anxiety inducing, but also very addicting. That's on a 2600, and then they got Dig Dug here on the 5200. do it for Midwest Gaming Classic 2021. Yeah, it actually happened and there was no snow. As I've discussed before, this is the third year now that we've been at the Wisconsin Center and 
by far, I like this layout the best. The way they had things organized in the two different main rooms, how spaced out they were, a big part because of the whole 2020 thing, but still, super happy with my experience here this year. Now, yes, the community hall was quite a bit less this year, but I'm not gonna put that to the fault of the convention. I'm sure that will be back to normal very soon. And overall, no complaints. Love the new additions. Even with all the craziness that it took to actually have this show be a thing this year. All the cool little new things that they were able to add to the show. Great job <laughs> to the Midwest Gaming Classic crew. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the way I tried to mix things up anyway. I had a lot of fun here. Glad to be back. It was very relaxing. Not too big of crowds for obvious reasons. Overall, I gotta say this was pretty much perfect. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out my previous Midwest Gaming Classic videos. I will link the playlist in the description below. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you at the next Midwest Gaming Classic, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.